Hi there, Nicole here from A Merry House. And today, I just wanted to show you my um, simplified, minimized, um, decluttered coffee corner. Any of you who may have been following my blog for any length of time might recall a post I did a while back about the coffee corner that I had built in our house. We We drink a lot of coffee and tea in our home and my husband had bought me a Keurig a few years ago for Christmas and um, at the time I was just trying to make things look sort of pretty and be organized and I was happy with it for quite a while but over the past year of particularly the last six months of trying to declutter and minimize our home um, I've just made a lot of changes and so I just thought I'd show you our much more minimalist coffee corner now and how much happier I am with how simple and clean it looks. Okay, come along. So the first thing to show you is that this is where the coffee corner used to be. Um, there used to be two very ugly green shelves there. They were there um, when we moved in to the house five years ago and we're in the process of trying to fix up our kitchen. Um, and so I just lost my patience one day and took them out. Unfortunately, I kind of ripped the wall a little bit and we haven't figured out what we're going to do with this space yet. So I've just left it as is. I'll also show you, this is the cupboard that I had in the coffee corner post with all the backup coffee K-cups. <laughs> Um, we had quite a few and as you can see uh, that's not there anymore I actually took the doors off this and made it more like open shelving for my pots and pans and my um, food storage and here is my new much more simple coffee corner um, I have my Keurig machine and my um, electric tea kettle and if we come over here um, I have started using these just, um, reusable coffee K-cups. You can usually just get them at your local grocery store. And um, I've been using those instead. And I just, I've been buying, um, actually I can turn around and show you in my freezer. I've just been getting the large bags of the hazel van vanilla from Costco. And I just grind up, um, this amount at a time which gets me through I don't know at least a few days and keep it there and that's it and I've decided um, that while we do like variety for coffee flavors um, I've just decided to keep it simple and just have one flavor at a time one kind at a time and then this is just um, like chamomile tea and then that is peppermint tea and that's it that's what I'm keeping in the past I've had like tons of different kinds of teas and I never know where to put them they always end up in a bin and just taking up room I don't have with my refillable reusable k-cup which also is just way more environmentally friendly than all the rest of those k-cups and the whole um, corner is right above where we keep our coffee cups our doors are currently off the cupboards because we're in the process of uh, getting them redone. And then I will show you um, up here that that black bin right there that is filled with I do have some loose leaf Earl Grey tea, and I do have some decaf K-cups um, that I decided to keep. And that's that's all that's up there, just for the odd time that I want a decaf cup of coffee, or conversely, if I wanted a caffeinated cup of tea. That is it, friends. That is my nice and simple coffee area. So that's my simplified coffee corner. I hope you enjoyed this little video. For those of you who have been keeping up with my blog and you remember the one that I did before, hopefully that'll just give you an idea of um, the trajectory I've been on in our home to simplify, to reduce, to minimize. Sometimes I think we've bought into this idea as North Americans that more is better all the time. And, you know, my coffee corner was a classic example of that where we had access to 20 different flavors of coffee and so we would buy them in bulk and keep them and I think we thought that that gave us more because we had more access to more things all the time and it gives gave us an illusion of you know I guess happiness in the sense that we could have what we wanted when we wanted it 
But what I'm realizing where I'm at in my life is that I want things to be simple and I want them to be not, not easy in a lazy way, but easy in the sense that I don't have to take up time thinking about things that don't matter. And as much as I like my coffee, the amount of different kinds of K-cups I have doesn't really matter. What matters is my family, what matters is God, what matters is my community, and the ways that God wants me to connect with people and serve Him and serve others. And so, to me, I want to have my coffee in the morning and in the afternoon, and now I have a very simple way to do it. And I don't have to worry about buying K-cups, I don't have to worry about them being on sale and trying to find coupons, I don't have to um, find room in my very limited cupboard space for boxes of K-cups, I don't have to break K-cup boxes down and all that stuff. It's just much more simplified. And I also don't have to dig around in a big bin of tea to try to find the one I'm looking for. It's just simple. It's just right there. It's so easy. And it's just one little, one little example of the way that I'm trying to simplify our life and simplify our home. So I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, I'd love it if you subscribed and uh, joined me on future videos. And please do uh, leave a comment below and let me know if you've been doing videos about home organization or minimalism or just reducing and decluttering because I would love to see them. So thank you very much and take care. We'll see you next time. God bless.